Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Welcome to the Snark Tank, your go-to source for all the latest and juiciest reality TV drama. Today, we're diving headfirst into the controversy surrounding Survivor host Jeff Probst, as fans are demanding his firing. Stay tuned as we dissect all the heated backlash and fan outrage in this explosive report. Let's jump into the snark tank. The 46th season of Survivor has been an absolute mess. There was Banu, the simpering do-nothing, who was eventually put out of his misery, but shouldn't have been cast in the first place. There was Q, who seemed to shift his entire strategy and betray his alliances based on stray comments. Not a single member of the cast executed an idol or advantage successfully. We're now five years into Survivor's new era, and few of its tricks and twists are still working. The great experiment has overstayed its welcome, and it's time for a few changes. I'm proposing the biggest one today. Jeff Probst has to go. Don't get me wrong. I love Survivor and I think Probst was an excellent host when the show began two and a half decades ago, except when he was yelling at women for trailing behind in physical challenges. But as of 2010, he's also served as executive producer and showrunner. Probst isn't designing every challenge or reading resumes to hire cameramen, but he's signing off on every twist, every casting decision, every major format change. He's also deciding the overarching strategy, whether that's approving Tyler Perry idols or vowing to never cast a villain again. If there are problems with the show, and I think there are several, then the person at the top needs to get his torch snuffed. Sadly, that means it's time for the 62-year-old to pack his knives and go. Wait! Sorry! Wrong reality show. Since the 40th season, 2019's Winners at War, Survivor has been operating in a new era, featuring smaller tribes, a condensed filming schedule, and so many twists that even Chuck Berry would be sick of them. There have been some good differences in the game, since then fewer dominating alliances, more women and people of color finding idols, players not getting complacent, but I think that has more to do with CBS casting initiative that 50% of the players be non-white than Probst and his crew's meddling. Take, for instance, the shot in the dark advantage, where a player can give up their vote for a one-in-six shot at safety. Usually, the person using it has no chance at staying anyway. It's only been deployed successfully twice, the first time by Jame Ruiz during Survivor 44, no one even voted for her, and the second by Caleb Jebwold to negate a unanimous vote against him. It was an exuberant moment, but Caleb was gone the next week. Once the advantage has been used so successfully, the show should retire it. It will never work quite as well again, and now that all incoming players know about it, many have strategies in mind to counteract it. Then, there are the immunity idol beware advantages. In the new era, there are consequences to finding an idol. These days, that means solving a bunch of puzzles to get it. If the player can't figure out the puzzles before tribal, they lose their vote. However, this season, everyone got their idol without missing a vote, which is essentially like having immunity handed to you. The puzzles become busy work rather than tools to build suspense. Plus, no one used an idol successfully all season. That's because Probst makes people think they won't survive without one, so players hoard them and end up leaving the game with an idol in their pockets. Remember when Parvati Shallow played two at one tribal and appended the game? We've never seen anything like that since because Survivor no longer allows for such complicated game play. That's the thing about this new era. The edicts put in place by Probst and Cohn seem stuck here. The game used to be more experimental, with great twists like Exile Island or Blood vs. Water going away once the stunt got old. The problem is the old stuff is no longer getting washed out with the surf. 
Starting with three small tribes is a mistake. We've seen several seasons where two tribes dominate a third, so we end up spending a lot of time with one group of unlucky losers. Probst says that having small tribes means there's no place to hide, but I think it means there's no room to maneuver. There are only two possibilities at tribal now, because there are only six people to vote for. Season 46 has seen S.